the research center for viticulture and enology in, uh, at CREA uh, with uh, the doctor, uh, Dr. Luca Nerva, uh, who is uh, a researcher at the Howard Center. And uh, he will talk about uh, uh, the activities uh, in which we are involved in this uh, Revine project. So let's start uh, with uh, this. Uh, presentations and uh, about this uh, uh, project. Luca, it's up to you. Yes, thank you, Maria Francesca, for the uh, for the presentation. The pronunciation of my name was really good, so <laughs> was not a problem. Uh, I guess you are seeing my uh, my presentation, right? OK, uh, so I will now present the uh, the work that we are going to uh, perform along the uh, Revine project uh, in the main activities that uh, we will do uh, during the project. Um, uh, so the main activities of our uh, and our objective are uh, comprised in work package one. So the development of new uh, biostimulant, biofertilizer and amendments. Uh, work package two, application of regenerative agricultural approaches under field condition, which is a really important work package for us. Uh, then studying the effect of the selected strategies uh, on, on plants and on the uh, microbial biodiversity uh, of soil. Um, so for the development of soil amendments, we will focus our attention on the production of manure fermented biofertilizer, uh, starting from manure and pomas. Uh, pomas residues from the grape uh, from the vine production and then compost from the pruning residues in field. Uh, we will develop ad hoc protocols for the implementation of these two soil amendments, whereas in parallel, Enea will develop specific protocols to produce biochar uh, from vine residues. Uh, but I think that uh, Fiametta will talk later about this, uh, this topic. Um, uh, then another important point is that in the meantime, we will also work on the development of microbial inocula uh, to be used as plant biostimulants. Um, in this frame, we will work on two parallel ob objectives. Uh, the first is to characterize the microbial collection that we already possess. Uh, this collection was obtained by isolation of uh, bacteria and fungi uh, strain from the main trunk of different grape varieties. Um, from which we obtain several interesting isolated that we already uh, um, identified, such as Trichoderma, Clonostachys, Aerobasidium, and Epicoccum, uh, as well as several bacterial isolate belonging to the Actinobacteria group um, and also to Pseudomonas and Bacillus genera. Uh, the second objective is to uh, also isolate new, um, new strain from ash environment, where usually plants recruit uh, beneficial microbes, able to induce responses that ameliorate the plant responses against, uh, against environmental stresses. Um, in specific, we will focus our attention on Mediterranean environment with reduced water availability in order to identify microbes which potentially help the plant to cope with drought stress. Um, furthermore, to identify uh, interesting taxa, we will also perform in vitro co-culture with some great pathogens such as Neofusicoccum, Botrytis, Feacremonium and Guignardia. Uh, as you can see also in this picture, we uh, already possess these uh, kind of uh, techniques uh, in order to gain information also on the potential biocontrol activities of, uh, of the selected strain. Uh, for those isolated, then we'll uh, uh, present uh, uh, the best feature. A more complete characterization will be performed also analyzing the possibility of the production of volatile compounds on or uh, molecule, diffusible molecule in the in the media. Um, finally, uh, another objective in War Package One is to um, uh, is, is also to uh, produce uh, synthetic communities. Um, and for this objective, we will test the ability of beneficial strain to grow together using inhibitory assay. Uh, this specific topic is uh, will be uh, performed to exclude the possibility of potential cross inhibition uh, among the selected uh, uh, isolates. Uh, so once this synthetic community will be defined, we will then apply uh, in combination with also with compost in, uh, in field condition. Um, moving to work package two, 
uh, CREA will then apply the previously identified approaches in fin condition. Uh, this is one of the most important objectives of the project, as I said before, since we will try to reduce the impact that the modern viticulture exerts on the environment. For this reason, we will compare standard winery uh, protocols uh, with the application of the selected approaches to reduce the use of pesticide, fertilizer, and also to reduce the water during the summer season. Uh, so the final objective of this work package is to improve the microbial biodiversity of soil to balance the growth defense trade-off. Uh, because as we well know, grape is composed by a rootstock, which provides the root system and interact with the soil uh, microbiota. And uh, as it was already proved, uh, the rootstock play uh, a crucial role in driving the recruiting of the, uh, of the uh, microbiota associated with the plant. Um, and so uh, we want to uh, um, try to mediate, which is the, uh, the growth defense trade-off uh, that play the rootstock on the scion, which is better characterized because we know that the scion is started, uh, is started from long time uh, because of the fruit uh, features. Moreover, in addition to the application uh, of compost, biochar, and manure fermented biofertilizer, to further improve the, the soil microbial biodiversity, we will also select cover crops to improve the fertility of soil and the productivity of vineyards, and to evaluate uh, also the use of different grape genotypes tolerant to biotic or abiotic stresses. Uh, this approach will then be um, analyzed by the integration of genomic uh, and or transcriptomic analysis in work package 3 to reveal new insight on the molecular mechanism of grape wine tolerance to biotic and abiotic stresses. Uh, so then coming to uh, work package 3, um, uh, we will then study the impact of the selected approaches uh, on the plant behavior using both uh, molecular technique, as previously mentioned, uh, such as the genomic and the transcriptomic analysis, and by the evaluation of the physiological and biochemical parameters. Um, to reach such objective, we will compare control plants uh, with those subjected uh, to the regenerative approaches using, for example, the infrared gas analyzer to monitor leaf gas exchanges uh, or, in, um, or uh, in parallel using the uh, HPLC analysis uh, to uh, identify metabolic uh, metabolism shift that we can introduce in the plant using these regenerative approaches. And in particular, we will focus our attention on key biochemical Compounds, com compounds such as uh, the abscisic acids, the ABA, you know, that play a crucial role in draw responses, uh, or other hormones like auxins that play a crucial role in the plant development, uh, or stilbenoids such as PCA, resveratrol, and viniferin, uh, which play a crucial role in the uh, defense of the plant. And so this would be also a sort of uh, control to see if our approaches are able to induce uh, priming in the plant against biotic or abiotic stresses. Uh, to then focus our attention on the soil microbial uh, biodiversity, we will evaluate together with ENEA uh, the microbial composition in the rhizosphere to understand how the selected approaches can influence the microbial composition uh, and the biodiversity. Uh, we will focus our attention on both the bacterial and the fungal biodiversity. Uh, this approach will display the ability or also the ability of the inoculated synthetic communities to survive in the environment uh, because as you may know uh, in the environment there is also a competition for nutrient and space with the natural occurring species and so this would be also a control for uh, the uh, the inoculation of uh, the synthetic communities um, finally uh, in, if the data obtained from the previous analysis will display interesting results, uh, we thought together with Enea and the Portuguese partner, in particular with Andrea, uh, to evaluate also the viral community uh, in the soil in response to the uh, applied regenerative approaches. 
Uh, this analysis will give interesting information uh, about the uh, nutrient availability and the natural recycling of organic matter, uh, because as you may know, um, it, it was already proved that uh, viruses play a crucial role uh, in uh, uh, recycling uh, the organic matter in, uh, in ocean and in soil, uh, but they also play a crucial role in driving the, uh, the biodiversity of the bacteria community and also the behavior of the fungal community. Uh, and so mm, this, this analysis is focused to understand if, uh, if mm, the viral community can play uh, a role in, the, uh, in driving the biodiversity and the biogeochemical cycle uh, of elements. Um, so with this, uh, I, I'm finished with my presentation. So uh, if you have any question, I'm, I'm here and thank you for your attention.